Hey guys, here's the gear for today. I'm going to stay with the Henson. This is the Plus Plus Razor, which I think is the medium. This is the B35 from Zenith with a custom handle done by a group that I'm a part of uh, on Reddit there. And we were able to put a custom little engraving there. You can see it in gold as well. It has been soaking for 10, 15 minutes. And so that should be plenty of time to get those tips uh, absorbing the water. Boar brushes absorb a lot more water than the other types of brushes. Horses don't absorb very much. Badgers don't absorb very much, but boars do. And that's why they change so drastically from being dry when they're quite stiff and like a broom versus being wet. Uh, the Henson was a wonderful gift from uh, Buzz, a viewer, and I am really uh, growing in my appreciation of it. I've shaved with it twice now, and so I know I'm going to enjoy this next shave. I'm going to try a different blade with it, the Gillette Platinum. And as you can see, it's only got two tick marks, so it's a young blade that might be an accurate count. If not, it's pretty close. Port Au Prince is the soap for today. I've been smelling coffee all day because I just got in a new percolator and I'm trying it out. And so I picked a strong scent to kind of combat that, the fact that my nose may be kind of nose blind, you know, uh, to, to milder scents. Ah, oh, vetiver, I think, is the um, a big part of this one. This is also the sheep tallow formulation of sterling, which is top notch at a bargain price. Uh, it's just it's just terrific. We will be using the lather bowl I've been using lately, a Dollar Tree melamine bowl with glass beads from the Dollar Tree also, decorator beads, epoxied to the bottom of it. The uh, before I get all my hands my hands wet and stuff, let us take the blade out. Platinums, I think, are changing. I think a lot of them are coming out laser etched now, but I have, <laughs> I use blades so slowly that my little supply of blades may last me so long that they look like antiques, right? So this is the Platinum. It is not quite as universally loved by a lot of the razors as my Gillette Silver Blue is. That particular one is uh, really cross-platform in terms of compatibility. This is the Platinum though and it uh, is one of those that when it shines it really really shines. It doesn't work with all my razors uh, as much as some of the other blades but man I have I definitely know that there are, are uh, in my mind I'm remembering a couple of razors that I had problems finding a blade for but the platinum did really well with it so that just is the way things go sometimes I'm gonna shake out a lot of the water from this to a point where I call lightly wet and that's a nice balance of being able to pick up soap uh, at a, at a uh, at just the right way where if it's too wet or if it's too dry, it can slow down the ability of a brush to pick up soap. All right, uh, I'm going to have my bowl right here so that if I hold my soap right here when I'm loading, it's to let it drip, to let any of the suds drip down. 45 seconds right there. And I've learned that the beef tallow soaps, at least, 15 seconds is plenty of load time. Okay, that's 10 seconds and 15 there. And we're not getting any drip yet, but we're kind of on the way if I would have kept going. I'm going to brush kind of the excess that was on the top of the soap down into the bowl there. And then I'm going to use this because I just took a shower. I don't really need to kind of clean my face off with this part of the suds, but I, I'll get my nose used to the scent here and just start to enjoy it. This is one of the uh, few scents that he put in the sheep base that's not named sheep. Glastonbury is the other one. Uh, Varin, although rightly pronounced Furin, from what I understand from you. You helpful commenters have, have guided me in the right way to pronounce that because it was created by the Dutch Shaving Forum in conjunction with Sterling, and it's one of the few Sterling scents that is truly a signature piece. He created it from
from scratch. A lot of his are kind of dupes. Nothing wrong with, with dupes, but it sure is nice to have a custom one. To have one that you really uh, were creative about, worked on, and it's really quite successful. A lot of people like the Ferdin scent. This is a strong scent. I don't really like it as an aftershave because of its strength. But I like it as a soap because that strength is not something I'm stuck with a long time. I'm not wearing it for hours, right? I can enjoy its strength during the shave and then it's, it's mostly gone. Now, I've used a lot of the, uh, ooh, that's a lot of water added, probably about 19 milliliters. I've used a lot of the beef tallow soaps here in the last good many shaves because we are celebrating and honoring Sterling for making it so, so being so helpful in getting us this brush. We, as a group, the, the few guys who were part of creating the whole thing and administering the talks with Zenith, they, it became a big headache. And I've, I've voiced this on my channel, so I'm not going to go to it in big detail, but Sterling really stepped in and helped us out. And so uh, mo a lot of March, many of us use just Sterling soaps. And I'm just having a fun time. And so even though I'm in April, late April, I'm enjoying my Sterling soap still. And uh, since I added a lot of water, you can you probably see it move if I hold it still. And actually, I don't think that's too much water. I'm going to make sure I get a nice mature lather here and give it just a little bit more mixing time. Sometimes it's good to mix as you press down a little bit. Uh, with this brush, it's got a lot of backbone, so it resists me. Um, but it still lets me press down uh, 30 percent, maybe a little bit more of the bristle length. It's pretty easy to press that much. But then also as you're mixing, sometimes lighten up a little bit and just kind of let, barely let the tips roll across the bottom of the bowl. And sometimes that gives you a different kind of uh, mixing action that I think does, does help. All right, this is a light, you can see it move. This is a a lather that is very wet. I am. I just got out of the shower, and so I did clean my, wash my face. A few days of growth we're, we're dealing with here. I've got so much water that I am dipping back into my bowl there. I'm <laughs> with uh, with a wet lather like this, combining with my overly wet face from the shower, I, I might have been better advised to dab my face a little to dry it off just a touch. Now, if I keep going, that's a good thing about a bowl. So you can just kind of dip back and get a little bit more lather. There we go. The first time I used the Henson, this, this flat plane that you put against your face is a blessing and a curse. It keeps you having the same angle of shaving the blade to your face that angle stays the same because if you're off with your handle angle here then it just won't cut and so it kind of uh, it's like a razor on training wheels and the first time i used this razor i really felt that kind of big square moving across big rectangle moving around on my face, but I'll tell you what, the second time 
I used it. I did not. That was, I don't know if my face got used to it. I'm not quite sure. It is a light razor because it's aluminum. It's well machined. It's, in my opinion, worth the money they're asking on the website. I like that the website is charging a fair price for it. Some razor companies don't do that. It's very comfortable right now. You can kind of move fast with it if you've got a nice slick lather like this one. And it's, it's going to protect you in the sense the razor is going to because if your angle is wrong, like I said, the blade is not going to touch your skin very much at all, and so it's hard to cut yourself with this. And so, in a way, I think it's a good, good beginner razor, but if you're on a budget, then this may not be a good beginner razor, despite the fact that it may treat you well as a beginner. It just may be a little too expensive, and so I think one of the best places to go is either the vintage market on eBay or maybe one of the Chinese Bai Li type razors, the Maggard. Uh, as, or in Sterling, both have uh, kind of low-cost razors that you can jump into as well. Uh, all right, a little rinse. And then, I'm going to use my towel to kind of dab my face off, like I said, because this lather is very wet. So the Platinum was very comfy in terms of the first pass. You know, there's just no tugging at all. It wasn't super efficient. I definitely felt some stubble, some patches of stubble that uh, were still had a good bit of length that we're was hoping to be cut down. But I got a feeling that's just going to be picked up right now with this second pass. I have used an aluminum razor before years ago from ATT above the tie and I just heard online that that, that company is shutting down. I, I tried one of their razors and it just didn't quite match my shaving needs at the time. Of course I was a kind of a young shaver back then and so it's possible that I uh, I was the main problem, you know, if I had it now again, it, I might, I might enjoy it, but they're, they're shutting down and another rinse. And they said they were going to be able to spend more time with their family and things like that. Best wishes to them. They didn't want to slight their customers. And, uh, like a post I put on my channel recently. Dr. John's is also having to shut down. And I do enjoy a lot of uh, Dr. John's scents. And his performance for a vegan soap was quite good. I like his artwork as well. There were still some patchy areas where I, I feel like it's going to need to be picked up right now. I'm confident it will. But it's clear that the more aggressive Kai blade that I used last time is a better match for this razor. This razor does temper it. Often an aggressive blade in, in other razors, the Kai can sometimes be a little on the aggressive side, but this razor keeps it in check with the way it has its geometry laid out. Oh yeah, see there we go. Super comfy shave. And gradually by the end by the third pass here, there's no there are no patches left of any consequence. So that is just just fine. So yet another blade that works really well with this razor. I tried the Astra Platinum, I tried the Kai. I need to try the feather. That's one of the ones that um that Buzz sent me with this razor. How so kind is he? Uh, for the post shave, I'm going to use this splash, this agar splash that Buzz sent me. And um, uh, I noticed the last time I used it that some of the dominant parts of it 
um, or it was the um, uh, was kind of almost a peppery and spicy note and less of the agar. Uh, and so I'm interested in perceiving that again. And I think that's going to be compatible with this uh, Port Au Prince for sure. And uh, even though this is kind of strong and pungent when you put your nose to the tub here, by the time you mix it like I do, it's just not offensive. It's not jarring or anything like that. It is enjoyable to me at least. And yeah, the uh, this sheep tallow treats your skin right. You kind of like Mitchell's wool fat. You you can just feel the kind of smoothness uh, that you're like your skin's being treated well. I do feel a little bit of the stubble if I go in reverse direction, you know, but I don't mind that. And uh, so I don't, I don't chase the baby butt smooth. But what I do feel is that residual slickness that's just a trademark of good soap bases like this. It seems and feels very nourishing to your skin. Really, really nice. And here's what the brush looks like after being rinsed out, kind of shaken out. And here's what it looks like after some hair dryer treatments. Uh, a hair dryer treatment here at the end of the shave. But it's just, it feels nice and soft. Of course, not as soft as a badger. But I hear when most of the tips split, it really kind of comes close to some badgers. Well, right now it's softer than some badgers. There are some, like I said, there's some Simpsons that uh, um, are kind of stiff. Uh, the tips just aren't very soft. Uh, so let's use that agar I mentioned. The port all print still kind of lightly around in the air. Agar is an oud type scent, but I think for this splash, they did mix some other pieces into it. Uh, spices like maybe a, a clove. I think maybe there's something like clove in there. And so it uh, definitely could be a, uh, a scent good for the holidays, right? Some people associate clove and those types of scents uh, with those uh, winter holidays. Yeah, that's just, that's pretty distinctive. Uh, like clove or allspice or anise. No, 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 it's, it's clove. So, um, and, and unfortunately the agar is not really jumping out at me right now. I think later on, maybe it'll come out a little bit more. All right. But uh, this is definitely on my list. And this is funny because I have the balm for agar and it doesn't quite, I don't smell the clove and stuff in the balm. And so these are more the true rec, the true uh, envisioning, the true manifestation of what the soap maker uh, wanted when they put together the scent because there's nothing to get in the way. The balm gets a little bit in the way with its, murkiness and stuff. The soap gets a little in the way with its solid nature. And I just happen to like with the balm and the soap, what does come out of it. I think it masks a little bit of this kind of clove and spiciness and more of the um, resinous wood essence. That's the agar um, comes out a little bit more, the oud type things. They come out a little bit more with those other mediums. So there we go. Not very much stinging. There was just a touch, but it went away very, very quickly. What a comfortable way to take down several days of growth. It did get patchy the first two passes, but the third cleaned it up very nicely. And that was with without with not a super blade. I mean, it wasn't a uh, just a champion blade like a Kai or Feather, right? It was a Gillette Platinum, and it worked very well here with the Henson. So the Henson is capable of doing the daily shaves because it's kind of an easy going razor. So it's obviously going to be great during those daily shaves. But if you're like me at a certain time in your life right now where you're not shaving every day and you need to take down multiple days of growth, well, the razor will do that too. I am liking it more as I'm using it. So Buzz, thank you so much for this opportunity. 
to uh, try out this razor. They are they have a marketing presence that's maybe stronger than a lot of other razors out there, especially competent razors. Um, they uh, I think we're seeing them on commercials on on TV uh, or YouTube or even Facebook. I think people are seeing ads for Henson. Um, and so they've obviously got a good marketing uh, department. I don't know anything about the maker, the actual owner or anything like that, but I do know that their website doesn't seem like it's trying to fleece people like some other razor manufacturers. The What you pay for in terms of a razor like this seems to be a fair price. The workmanship seems to be very good. I'm very happy with that. And so those are all really positive, good things. And I, I do continue to enjoy the razor more and more. Uh, and it's, uh, this is the third blade I've tried with it, and it, it's still uh, doing very well. It doesn't seem to be, and I don't think it's going to be too picky about what uh, blades you use with it. So that's really cool. This lather bowl continues to impress. It's just a $2 plus some epoxy is all it took to buy all the supplies needed to make this. So excellent, excellent. Well, that's the shave for today. Um, we've had a cool downturn in temperatures, and so this particular scent uh, may not be nice during the summer as, as identifiable with a summer warm type environment. Uh, I think it's especially suited for cooler, and so it definitely matches these days because we have a nice little cool, cool time period that I'm really enjoying. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves. Uh, 19 milligrams uh, milliliters of water used during the shave, 15 seconds of loading, gave me plenty of lather, lather to get the job done, probably about five passes. So there we go. You guys have a good day.